All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, Episode 2, Giant Consequences. Let's get this party started. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Old friends come in and move out of life, while new friends show up to fill the spaces left behind. We might not like it, but eventually everyone learns that nothing can escape change forever. No matter how fraught with danger it may seem, the lure of adventure cannot be denied. Sometimes the danger itself is the pull. Some heroes just want to be the one to discover the next ancient secret, to wield strange new powers. This new threat was more personal than any that had come before, and the fight for their lives shook the foundation of everything they thought possible. But in the end, the town was saved. The heroes had won the day, and everyone could believe for just one moment that maybe things really hadn't changed at all. And then, that moment passed. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Greetings, tiny people. I am the admin. Gosh, this Sorry, dude is so loud. That was probably really loud to your pathetic, tiny ears. What does that mean? What does it want? Admin? What is that I'm scared right now. Well, guess Jack's eye wasn't enough for it. I wish to speak with Jesse, the gauntlet bearer. What's going on? Where did it come from? Well, quit wishing, admin, because I'm right here. I know. That's why I was like looking right at you. Come, speak with me face to face. Oh boy. Admin? Have you ever heard of such a thing? Jesse? What's going on here? Gauntlet bearer? That is all rather suspicious, isn't it? No kidding. I don't like it. No, sir, I do not like it. Uh, everyone, everyone, I. There's nothing to worry about. The. Giant Prismarine Colossus and I are gonna work this out and everything can get back to normal. I swear. Okay, so an admin, a huge colossus in our door. I'm all right with not freaking out yet. You're going to fix this, right, Jesse? You won't let it destroy Beacon Town, will you? Oh, I'm sure Jesse must have thought of something. Don't worry, everyone. I'm gonna try talking to it. Okay, diplomacy. Nice. That sounds good. <clears throat> I would like to proceed, Gauntlet Bearer. Do not test my patience. Guess you should get up there. Gauntlet Bearer. Clay, come in your way. Thanks, Nell. Perfect. This dude is so loud. Jesse. I loved what you did with the Witherstorm. Awesome stuff. Oh, 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 oh. This is going to be perfect. You've got the knack. Why, yes, thanks for noticing. Seriously, you're a natural. That's why I left you the gauntlet. You left it? To tempt you down to the Sea Temple. Now, your true test begins. It is time you no! fight. Me. Fight me, champion. 
Unless you'd like to see that happen to your entire town. Who knows what I'll do next? <laughs> Enough talk, let's fight. Uh, hold on. Aha! Fighting in broad daylight is boring. Let's add some drama. Oh, he's powerful. So much for them. <laughs> Just you and me now, champion. Don't let them down. Good, Jesse. Really not good. Beacon Town is gonna be like, like, one big smash fest to this guy. Ugh. Not even Miss Butter's gonna do anything against that Colossus. We need something bigger, like uh, a like structure block. Buy me time. I'm gonna plant some arrow towers. That should make Tall, Dark, and Ugly regret smashing my town. One major distraction coming up. Go, Jesse. Hey, Stoneface, over here. Yeah, that's right. Your courage is so much larger than your puny size. Ooh! Let's see how you deal with the enchanted deliciousness of Miss Butter! I could peek my teeth with that blade. <laughs> I'll take you down one block at a time! <laughs> Distraction, Jesse. Uh, the, the, where's the structure block? Ha <laughs> ha! Finders keepers. This oh boy! Tiny thing won't save you, Jesse. Not from me. Okay, this is a little intense, but I guess a giant colossus did follow me oh. home. Oh, hide and seek is beneath you, Jesse. The champion should be better than this. Oh boy. If you're going to be a coward, Jesse, just give yourself up. back at the sea temple had the same symbol ah! Ah, there we are all right admin you want to fight you got one here I am <laughs> Hey, Rockface! Eat this! Ah! Ah! Okay. Good to see you too. Yes. What is that? Quick version: the admin. He like built the world or something. Uh, Kay. Are you all right? I mean, he really had you up there. Lucas, you just saved my life. Thank you. Of course! <laughs> I always wanted to ride into battle. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
I sure hope you got an idea here. I saw a spot on the back of his head that I'm hoping Same. might be the key to defeating him. You can't doubt Sounds like I better keep him distracted then. Thanks, Lucas. Be careful. Come now, Jesse. All this stalling is just making me angrier. Hey, Lockhead! You want Jesse? You need to go through me first. And I don't think you stand a chance. You're protecting Jesse. Oh, please. All these interruptions are becoming annoying. That ends now. Right, Let's see what you got. Yeah. Not in there. Oh God! It keeps pausing. What is it doing? I knew you'd come eventually. You don't know anything about me. <sighs> Where are you? Hey! Oh, I'm sorry. Sure would be a pity if. Oops. No! Oh, You're gonna no. wish you hadn't done that, Admin. Oh boy. Do you really think you can defeat me, Jesse? I don't think. I know. <laughs> Confidence. The mark. That's how it's done. No. That was really something. Stay behind me, Stampy! Ah, don't let the googlies touch me! Oh man, these are gonna keep coming in until we get the sun back up. Any idea how to use it? Just like that. still works man this thing could be super dangerous how sure are you that this admin guy is gone <clears throat> Make a compelling point yep. Lucas my yep. hand is still trapped in this freaky gauntlet <sighs> yeah not to be a warrior but he might not be as dead as we hope I I'm worried enough for both of us someone should keep an eye on this thing yeah, I can take first watch. Actually, 
Actually, I'll volunteer. I want to help. Jesse, I'd say we both do it, but one of us should really get started on the repairs. It's a nice gesture, but maybe you should just let me handle it. Look, I promise. Then the minute I see anything out of the ordinary, I'm coming to get you as fast as my hustle sticks will carry me. I, my, uh, my legs. I was like, Jesse, hustle sticks? What the heck? Jesse's left me in charge before. This is a whole new level, though. All right, Radar. I officially bequeath on you the title of Clockmaster. Thank you, Jesse. I solemnly promise to uphold the duties of Clockmaster and to only use my powers for good. What? Well, yeah, good. That's good. So what are you going to do now? I figured I'd start with Ruben's memorial. Got pretty trashed. Oh, man. Well, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. That admin just... No respect. It'll be alright. Damage isn't too terrible. That's a really good outlook. And, um... When I asked you what you're gonna do, I was actually talking about that glove of yours. Cause I gotta tell you, Jesse, this whole admin thing, it's... Well, it's very you. I guess is what I'm saying. Well, I know you say you're trying to settle down and run Beacon Town, but it just seems like you can't quit that life, you know? I mean, you don't exactly see Axel and Olivia getting mixed up in stuff like this. I don't care if that life keeps trying to drag me back. I like Beacon Town. I like helping people. <sighs> That's great, then. I mean, the people clearly love you. I, uh, I didn't say any of that stuff to be mean. Okay, we've had a ton of adventures, and I just want you to be happy. I mean, that's what that little pig wanted for all of us. Now go rebuild his monument. I promised Stampy and Stacy I'd help them get their houses fixed up. Sounds good. I'll see you later, Lucas. Okay. Let's see what we can do for you, buddy. <clears throat> All right, so it's wanting us to uh, rebuild this, huh? We'll do that with... Actually... Let's take these down really quick and then we'll do this one. Like that. And then we'll put these like this. There we are. And then we'll do this and this. We'll do these ones like this here. Do this fancy little floor here for him. We'll do some glass up front. We'll do some glass around the back side here. There we are. Nope. Ah! I'm all out of glass. <clears throat> all right, so glass is not gonna work for that top part, so. We'll get rid of that then. We don't have enough glass to do that. So, we'll do something like this then. We'll keep that pretty simple. We'll make like a cool like little shrine thing like this. Something like that and
There we go. We'll put some glass like this. Come on. Oh! This thing is like so hard to get like perfect. No, I just want it right there. There we are. Now we can break these pieces out. <coughs> there we are. And... Yeah, that's good. There. Now that is a monument fit for Reuben. Perfect. I know I never met Robin. Reuben. <laughs> Oh, right. Righteous. Righteous. Oh, by the way, Petra was looking for you before. Over that away. Thanks, Nell. <clears throat> Over that away. Ah, oh, come on. You remember Twisting Death Cavern? You couldn't even look at a bat for months, right? Oh, oh yes. Oh, they. I'll just start to blur together after a while. Hey, guys, Petra around? Heard she was looking for me. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, helping Nurm get some stuff, I think. Uh, she should be back in a second. Oh, uh, amazing work fighting that admin fellow, by the way. <laughs> just stunning. Yeah, I would have thought you'd been doing it your whole life. It was artful. Well, it's not like it was my first battle against an impossible foe. No? Witherstorm. I'll get you the book. It's actually a pretty good read. I think I've got a copy back at the shop. It's a little sad that the legendary Jack, the, the Iron Sword of Muji Lake, has been reduced to some uh, what, tour guide. Voss. That's why I think this adventure to Twisting Death Cavern is just what you need to be <laughs> Shut up. What you should continue to keep uh, just uh, talking about uh, for some day uh, far off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, agreed. Love theoretical conversations. Wow, I thought Jack was a bad liar. But you're pretty terrible at it too, Voss. Uh, yes, okay, fine. We have a new adventure planned. Hang on, hang on. I missed that last part. If we take that road, it goes through a swamp and a mesa biome? Hmm. Okay, okay, then it's settled. The earlier we leave, the better. Wait, you're leaving with these guys? Uh, yeah. And that's, uh, yeah. That's why we were, um, being weird before and, uh, you know, talking about, uh, you know, bus possible stuff. We haven't even rebuilt yet, Petra. Well, I didn't think you needed me for that. Jesse, I promise I, I can explain. I just... Oh, wait, what? What was that? Is it snowing? <clears throat> it is. It's impossible. This isn't a snow biome. The one and only. I had so much fun during our last little battle. Super epic. Just couldn't stay away. Wait, you're the admin? Well, that giant... Prismarine Colossus. <laughs> just a construct. Rolled it up for the occasion. Pretty fun, right? I just thought it'd be a little easier to talk like this. Well, it's kind of cuddly, right? Hold up, that was your idea of fun? Uh, yeah. I mean, with the smashing and the punching and the crazy do-or-die plans to protect the little people. God, unbelievable. See, you four went into my temple, back out alive. Heroes, you're perfect for my creations. Perfect! Where are you going with this? Got a new challenge for you. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Again. You hear that? That's a diamond class wave of doom and destruction headed right for town. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Been working on that one. You're insane. I know you have your plans or 
whatever, but leave my people out of it. They're innocent. <laughs> innocent or incentive? I don't know. Seems like they've got you pretty motivated. Ahem. <clears throat> Your town will be trapped in eternal snowy night, forever plagued by deadly waves of mobs, until you recapture that clock. Which is where? I'm glad you asked. It's at the tippy top of my awesome, fantastic, super deadly, icy palace of despair. But it's of course simple. it is. Just follow the path. You can't miss it. Well, that sounds needlessly dangerous. Oh, it is. You're putting innocent people in danger just for your games? Yeah, well, technically, you're the one putting them in danger if you don't go after the clock. So, uh... Why are you doing this? What do you want from us? Why? <laughs> Why? Well, because it's fun, obviously! I mean, this is gonna be epic! You think you've got it all figured out, don't you? Ah, oh, strays! Pesky little consequence of eternal night. And <laughs> Beacon Town's new neighbors until you take care of that clock. Remember, find the clock, save the town. Bye bye now. Ah, oh, we need to protect the people! Run! Hide, everyone! Ouch! Oh, gosh. Wow, really? There we are. There we are. Oh boy, three of them now. Great. Oh, I was thinking he would shoot his buddy. Wow, that was cheap. I was fighting the other guy. I've got a bad feeling more will be on the way soon. Guys? Jesse, I am so sorry. I, I was standing guard watching it so close, but it just disappeared. I know. Now the situation is just going to get worse until we get it back. Yeah, from his icy palace of despair or whatever. Wherever you're going, I'm coming too. I was given the title and the power of Clockmaster. If it's to keep Beacon Town safe, I'll do anything. Really? Oh man, proud of you, Radar. Really? Of course. Well, I, I won't let you down. All right, everyone, we've got a clock to find. Can't let you come along on this one, old friend. Hmm. Mm. I promise, I will come back. Hmm. Just protect the town while we're gone, all right? Hmm. Is that thing gone? Yeah, for now. I mean, block this up after we leave, would you? On it. Yes, we will defend Beacon Town with our very lives. Thanks, guys. Bye, Nerm. Hmm. We're all counting on you. I wish I knew more about whatever their quest is. <laughs> I don't mean to sound suspicious, but do we really think the admin is going to keep his word about this clock? Yeah, I don't exactly get a trustworthy vibe off of him. If he knows what's good for him, he better keep his deal. We get the clock, the town's freed from eternal darkness. And hey, if he doesn't stick to the deal, 
I'll just need to find another punchier way to convince him. Hey, Jesse. Uh, can we, um, talk? I'll just walk a little more over here. Oh, uh, right. Uh, uh, me, me, me too. About that trip with Jack. I promise it's not like it seems. It's just a little trip. A little time away from Beacon Town. To, I don't know, find myself? You didn't invite me. You didn't even tell me until I caught you. I, I thought you would be busy with all the rebuilding and everything. I, I really am sorry that it happened this way. I, I was just so excited to be hanging out with real hardcore adventurers again. Especially because I was worried that you, that you didn't need me anymore. Petra, of course I need you, that's ridiculous. Ugh, see, this is why it would have been so much easier if you hadn't found out like this. It's just... Everything's so different from when we first became friends. Everything's... changed. Lucas, Axel, Olivia, they all changed too. They found what made them happy. Their thing. But me? I still haven't found mine. Do you know how hard that is? How, how that feels? I think we both know that you're the only one that could find the answer to that, Petra. Yeah, I know. Just wish existential crises came with maps, you know? The heck? <clears throat> Uh-oh. It's a llama. Luna? Is that a scarf on that llama? Huh. Think she ran away again? Uh, excuse me. Speaking for the group, you guys know a llama? Where'd she come from? This is Luna. She's kind of cute, right? We returned her to her owner, Stella. She is cute, isn't she? Everyone get away from my llama. No. Jesse, my rival. Should have known I would find you here. Uh. Hush, I'm talking. Yes, it is I. It's been some time since I've seen you, my nemesis. I've dreamt of challenging you again since our last confrontation. Okay. What is going on here? Lucas, this is Stella, the leader of Champion City. This is Jack, Voss, and Radar. Jacques, was it? As in, the legendary champion? So, what exactly are you doing here, Stella? My beautiful city is currently covered in a hideous coat of snow. That's what. I came out to investigate, and surprise, surprise, it's you. If you're smart, you'll undo whatever it is you did and put things right again. Just... wow. Can't believe you're all alone. Thought you had people to do things like this for you. Huh. That's what you think. But when Champion City is threatened, I am not going to refuse the call. I believe we have it well covered, miss. We're on our way to find a mighty adversary and set things right. All right. Let's say I believe you. I suppose I'll just have to find a way to fix it. It's my world too, after all. You'll see, I'll fix it all on my own. I don't need any of you losers. Whoa, the, the moon is stuck. Okay, that's freaky. So, Stella, you were saying? I was saying that maybe I'll stick around for a bit, just to keep an eye on you. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> She wants to join us for the adventure. You know I'm all for trying to find my own path, but does it really have to have Stella on it? <laughs> uh, 
You okay, Raynar? Yes. Yes. Totally fine. Guys, shh. We need to keep an eye. Whoa. I'm actually kind of speechless right now. Man. And it's all ice? I'm right there with you, Jack. That is incredible. It's like I was telling you, Radar. Never a dull moment. Hey! Found the clock! Oh, perfect. But how are we gonna get up there? Well, the admin mentioned challenges. I'm guessing there's gonna be, like, obstacles or something when we get... <laughs> Wait, do I have this right? Are you telling me that this admin is so powerful, he built all of this instantly? You sound almost jealous. Almost? Of course I'm jealous of power like that. Power is how the world is run, little man. It's what people respect, what they listen to. Stella, I know you haven't met him yet, but I promise you, the admin is nuts. <sighs> yeah, you really don't want any part of that. Trust me. Huh, lesser minds often do mistake true genius for madness. <laughs> On second thought, maybe I can't wait for you to meet him. <laughs> Stella, you'll never change. I thought I recognized you. You're the quitter who used to work on my inventory management team. Wait, wait, do, do you two know each other? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I used to live in Champion City. What? I don't know what he told you to get on this little team, but I don't think he even knows how to use a sword. Oh, you don't know anything, Stella, so zip it. Ooh, how do you put up with that little voice of his, Jesse? I know I never could. Hey, Radar is really brave, all right? Oh, yeah, really super brave, I'm sure. Who even invited you anyway? I'm just telling you, Jesse, I'd be careful about counting on him for anything. Come along, Luna. He's never let me down yet. Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. I'm not the person she thinks I am anymore. I've changed. And I can prove it. I can be different. Braver. If that's what the situation requires, I'll do it. As far as I'm concerned, Radar, you don't need to change. You can just be... you. See? And that's what makes you one million times the leader she'll ever be. Would you look at that? Haven't seen anything that grand since the last time I visited the overcompensating builders of Igesh. No kidding! Oh boy, my favorite. Mystery levers. No. Oh. Gee. What's going on? Aha! Hello, everyone! <laughs> please, please gather around. Y y don't be shy. Here we go again. Oh, look how many of you there are. Lovely. Your choice of company, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this place is really for the best of the best. Not, how do I say this, losers? Mr. Admin, mighty sir, I'm Stella, founder of Champion City. Maybe you've heard of me? No, never. It's actually perfect, Champion. I can see you all have dreams of greatness. It's very cute. This construct before you, it's meant to see who's worthy of that greatness. Separate the strong from the weak. So. We'll see how your little companions do, hey? Well, don't even worry about it, because my friends here aren't weak. Mm-hmm. Cool. If you say so. Oh, come now, don't be that way. This, this is all for you. New creatures of my own design, as well as mining fatigue at every turn. Wouldn't want you cheating, of course. I don't like rule breakers. It's simple. You all want to get to that clock, but... Only the best of the best get to partner up with me in the future. But that could be you. Put this place up just for you. I mean, it's pretty... Well, I was going to say pretty cool, but with a whole ice motif, that just seems like I was going for a lame pun, so... Anyway, 
I'm here to save my town. Well, of course you are, because you're a hero! <laughs> it's awesome! Oh, 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 I am just ecstatic that you see things my way. Thrilled! <laughs> so, how about we get this show on the road? Yes, please. <laughs> oh, we're going to have more puzzles ahead of us. I feel it. Nice landing. Ah, uh, it's nothing. It's just my perfect reflexes and photographic muscle memory. Is shut. Yes. Now I suppose the only way out is through. Yeah, and smashing that clock. Well, we're not all going to be smashing the clock. Say what now? You heard the admin. He only wants the best of the best. And that's going to be me. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Sorry, handsome. Might as well quit now. Wait, but what about your people? Champion City. You're totally selling them out. Boy, do you think, Small. If I'm working with the admin, I'll be able to help Champion City even more. I hope. Wow. It's... it's amazing. Hmm. <laughs> You're his little buddy, Jesse. You know anything about this partnership he's offering? Imagine everything you could create, everything you could do, with a prize like that. Okay, hang on a sec. I am not the admin's little buddy. <laughs> I'm just saying, you two were looking pretty chummy up there. Come on, Luna. Enough of these losers. We've got treasure to find. Hey. Treasure sniffing llama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell your friends. <laughs> Hey now. Oh, that poor llama. What? Hey, don't treat Luna like that. She obviously hates it. I think I know my darling Luna a little better than you do. Let's go, Luna. Sure. Well, that is certainly a woman who knows what she wants. Are you kidding? She's nuts. Ah, well. No one knows better than me that the admin's traps and constructions mean business. You've got a point there, old friend. I don't want to see anyone else get hurt. Yes. And it's like the admin said. Not everyone here might be uh, up for the task. I mean no offense by it. Just uh, stating facts. All in this together, all right? No one's getting left behind here. Ah, <sighs> fine. If something happens to them, that's on you, not me. Come with me, Jack. Uh, let's try and scope this place out. I'm... I'm gonna go talk to them. Well, I have never been so offended. Not in my whole life. Yeah, that wasn't the coolest. W wasn't the coolest? Oh, no. Misfiling your acacia wood during material organization week isn't the coolest. That was... that was a stripe too far. But just because I'm not some sword-swinging meathead, they think they can just walk all over me. They, they think they, they me. look Radar. at me and my, well, my, my skinny little arms, and, and they think they know Radar. me. Radar! Ah, sorry, I had to get that off my chest. I need you to remember that out there, the world is stuck in eternal night. There are a lot of scared people back in Beacon Town who are counting on us. You're right. Uh, we were talking and decided that it would be best for everyone if Radar stays here with Lucas while we go get the clock. Uh, that's it, Luna, <laughs> darling. She's got the clock sent. <laughs> Later, losers. We're wasting time. Wait, the admin built this whole place to eliminate people, right? Trick them? Sure, it looks like Luna found something, 
but that's... Just what the admin wants us to think. You saw the llama! Jesse, you're coming, right? We could really use a hand over here. Oh, decisions, decisions. Join Lucas. Or join Petra. We're going to join Lucas and Radar. I got to go with them. Be safe, okay? If you're sure. Woohoo! I knew you'd make the smart choice. I think we've got a few dislocated ribs after that ride. Everybody okay? Definitely. What a rush. Wait, we're missing somebody. Oh, there he is. Uh, uh, I'm all right. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm okay. Really. Just getting my adventure legs. I'll be better in a minute. <laughs> no worries. Minecart to the worst. <laughs> yeah, just... Ooh, feeling real sick. <laughs> right, Lucas? What? Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> definitely. Ooh, minecarts. Uh, you, you guys didn't have to do that. But thanks. I gotta say, if you're having a hard time with the minecarts, you might not like what comes next. Hello there, it's me again, your friendly neighborhood admin. <laughs> Pretty proud of this challenge, not gonna lie. I was feeling very inspired by the concept of karma. But I'd tell you why, but well, that'd spoil the surprise. I'm sure you understand, right? Real heroes live for surprises. Unexpected dangers. Oh, that's all right, tell me. I'm cool with spoilers. I just told you. I'm not going to spoil the surprise. Just play along here. Let's just say I hope you're feeling good about your archery skills, hmm? Between you and me, though, champion, I'm less worried about your archery than I am about your choice of companions. Let's see if I can't shuffle the board a bit, hmm? Give you another pair of hands to help out? Uh, oh. Where? How? He's no Jesse. But he's better than that other guy, right? Oh, 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 dear. All you need to do is activate the shooting gallery, hit all the targets, and the door will open. <laughs> Easy, right? Okay, but what are those pumpkin heads for? Don't worry, Jesse. We'll figure it out. So we've got a button up there. We've got a hopper down here. Arrows, perfect for shooting targets with. Now I just need a bow. Now I just need a bow. We're probably gonna have to make a bow. We're gonna have to get the string and the sticks. That's probably why it's giving us an option to break the web. All 
always good to have string around. Alright, so now we're just gonna need some sticks. Is there any sticks on this side? No. Okay. Can talk to him. Is it giving us any option? Shooting gallery, Lucas, and radar. Is there any? Aha! There we go. Time to meet your maker. Beautiful. All right, let's go make a bow. Use. Trying to remember how to make a bow. I think it's like this. Aha! I remembered. Nice. Sweet. Let's tear up some targets, huh? <laughs> he really reminds me of us. You know, back in the day, eager to make his mark, always ready for whatever's around the next corner. He's lucky to have you. Giving him a helping hand and all. Yeah. He'll learn from the best. <laughs> Come on. How do you turn this stupid thing on? <laughs> Looks like he needs our help. I'm gonna assume it's probably that button up there. Alright, button. You're mine. Wow, lucky guess. Cool. All right, Lucas, show the admin who he's messing with. <laughs> nice and easy. Look at that. Ching. Huh. Huh. Nice shooting, Jesse. Thanks, radar. Huh. This is going to be easy. Huh. Huh. Well, that was a little tougher. Man, Jesse, you're good. I'm definitely gonna steal some of those moves. Here comes round three. All right. No, I want to lock onto that one. Woo! Ooh, I almost missed that that one up top. Jesse, you did it! Nice. Not bad. Not bad. You're a fine shot. Almost feels like I made this challenge too easy for you. Oh wait, no, I'm totally messing with you. Time for level two. <laughs> what 
What is he doing? Cross, hang on! What are you... Oh, man. Look out! Wow. Cross! Jesse! Take care of yourself! This way, guys, follow me! Just shock those things can jump. Okay, guys, this is it. Radar, come on! But Faustin! I Jesse, I don't wanna fall! Sometimes you just gotta fake it, Radar! It's hero time! Let's get out of here. That's screaming. Oh Holy crap. Radar, take this. Help Lucas hold off those golems. What the heck? Oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh, what the heck? Good job. Radar, you did it! Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, you big jump chunk of ice! All right, time to get ourselves a pumpkin and open that door. Jesse, finish him! Vlawcality! <laughs> Flawless victory! Oh Come my. on, before he thinks up a stage three. wasn't your fault, Radar. Voss has to be somewhere in this place. We'll find him. Taste my bravery? Well, I figured it was appropriate. That was intense. Would it be weird for me to go in for a hug? Cause, uh, I'm kind of feeling the hug vibe right now. Let's stick to a high five, all right? It's cooler. Yeah, super cool. Petra! Hey, have you guys seen Voss? 
One second he was with us, and the next, gone! Hello? Help! Um, a little help here? No, 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 no! No one deserves this. Not even Stella. She might be a bit stuck up, and she doesn't really treat anyone that nicely, but... Stella's been totally impossible, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't help her. Ugh, you have a point. Uh, okay, no, 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 no. This is all wrong, people, wrong! You're not supposed to help each other. The losers are supposed to lose. Like spectacles over here. There was no way Radar would have fought his way out of that room without you. You should have just cut him loose. Jettison that baggage. I'm seeing someone like you held back by that? Oh, painful. He's as good as any of us. He has just as much right to be here. <sighs> Fine. You convince me. It's not often I give second chances. Uh, one condition, though. Hey, no! Ah, ah, oh, no, 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 no! Oh, man, not good! Ah, ah. No! But he's so small! Let's see how our bucko does on his own, eh? What do you think the chances are without... Jesus. You... Not good. We have to do something. Floating lava? That's just that's crazy. You'll have to maneuver past all that cacti. There's a door. Go for the door! He's not gonna make it. We can't just stand here. Jesse! Here we go. Whew. Radar, the door! Jesse! Jesse, I just had a thought. Maybe... Maybe I can do this. Maybe I am a hero. We're not! No, gosh. <gasps> Radar! I timed that perfectly. This is impossible. The admin told us to go through his stupid challenge, but maybe we could find another way. Did anyone... Luna? If that llama can get to the other side of the wall, so can we. Yeah, we're never punching through that. Anyone got anything to make a pickaxe? I have some sticks. Three diamonds! That sounds like a diamond pickaxe to me. Wow, convenient. Diamonds and sticks. Beautiful. going up and our friends went up and that's where we're headed to uh hate to point out the obvious but we can't climb oh no Out we broke his stuff. Yeah, there's no telling how long we have before the admin figures out what we've done. He's gonna be like really, really mad. Yeah, 
No kidding. Hey, he said get to the clock, right? So, we're getting to the clock. Yeah, I guess it's still winning, technically. Hey, look! <laughs> Jesse! Woo! I don't see Voss, though. Hold tight, we're coming to save you! You better keep my llama safe. Especially from those. Especially from... What the heck? Oh, more of the admin's freaky mobs. <gasps> Luna! Ah, uh, man, I hate those icy ender creepers. Ugh. You and me. <clears throat> you and me both. You're all right, sweetie. Yeah. Oh man, that looked like it hurt. I thought you were really in trouble. One minute you were falling through the air, the next, boom! Crazy stuff. Come on, come on. I've had worse than that for breakfast. Sorry, uh, this is all still pretty new to me. Look, I wasn't the last of the Ender Creeper things. And I still can't see Voss. Divide and conquer here, people. One of you go for the clock, one of you come with me and Lucas to rescue the others. Guys, we're running out of time here. Petra, I believe in you. Go for the clock. Jack, you come with us. <sighs> okay. Okay. Hey, be careful up there. Right. Luna? Sweetie? <laughs> Smart llama. Luna! But... but why? Jesse, coming to my rescue, just like I dreamt it. Glad you're okay. I was worried. Ha! Huh, yeah, you and me both. Uh, Jesse. Better hustle. Got some real nasty customers coming our way. Oh, I don't like those. Come on, Radar. We gotta get you out fast. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. I got a feeling they won't be gone for long. <clears throat> Jesse, hello. Stella. I could have found that clock, obviously, but there was some signage that was very confusing. And well, I, you know, wound up here. <clears throat> Kept hoping the admin would drop by so I could explain the confusion. But when we do talk, you better believe that he's gonna realize I am the perfect friend and partner for him. Stella, would you please just stop talking already? Fine. Enough chit-chat. How about you get me on out of here? Really? Wait, what? Huh. Yikes. Okay, fine. Just don't make me regret it, all right? Knew you would. Our fates are intertwined, after all. Who are either of us without the other? Ow. Nice work, Petra. Come on, guys, let's go give her a hand. Now let's get to that clock. Ow! What the heck? Uh-oh. Everything's gonna start melting. Look at that, 
you did it! Yeah, I guess I did, huh? Awesome job, I'm so proud of you. Uh, help! Crushing lungs! <clears throat> Not to interrupt all the celebrating, but escaping? I can't leave without Voss. Go ahead, guys, we'll catch up. Just... Just hurry, okay? I don't like worrying about you. What's your angle? Waiting around for the admin? I need to find him. Don't worry, Jack. I'm gonna help you. Me too. Thank you. Well... This is a little... disappointing? Wait, what? Voss! Oh, I tried. I really... really did. I... How did you get here, Voss? Oh, Jesse. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. I, I just don't understand you. Letting your friends go? Radar? <laughs> he clearly wasn't supposed to make it. Despite you dragging him along, losers are supposed to lose, Jesse. Boss, friend, what are you doing? Why are you saying these things? Hang on, I've heard that before. Of course you have. I've been saying it the whole time. <laughs> Not this body, of course, but... <laughs> what? <laughs> Haven't you figured it out yet? You don't. He's the admin. Oh, you are a smart cookie, Jesse. Of course I am. Voss. The whole time? No, not the whole time, you nitwit! The real Voss would never have survived in my sea temple that long. I am disappointed, Jesse. You obviously just don't have what it takes to really be my friend, my partner. Such a pity. Such a waste. Are you serious? I would never be your friend. You're nuts! And you? <laughs> well, you are incredibly bold. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Admin, sir. I just wanted to say that I would love to be your partner. But you... lost. Technically, yes. But unlike them, I actually appreciate what you're offering. You don't say. Stella, I don't know what your plan is here, but it's going to backfire. Backfire? Jesse, sweetie, I'm telling the truth. Jesse, I really appreciate you saving me. Love ya. Mean it. But you obviously don't understand the magnitude of what this... this Paragon is offering. Huh. Uh, Stella, was it? Yes, sir. See, she may not have the skills, but that is a terrific <clears throat> attitude. He's gonna nuke Your her. attitude, on the other hand? Oh, well. There's nothing that hurts more than broken hopes. I made this for you. Just for you. And how do you repay me? You cheated! How could you do this to me? How could you do this to us? Oh, that's adorable. They're mad they got manipulated. I should be mad that I had to waste all that time looking like that crusty old adventurer. I gave you so many chances. <laughs> what? <laughs> it hasn't all been to waste. No, no. You might not be worthy. Technically, Petra here was the winner. Oh, don't get me wrong. There are quite a few flaws we'll have to work through, but we'll get there. In time? No! No, 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 no! Ooh. Petra! 
Where did she go? Oh, don't even worry about it. It's not for a loser like you to worry about where the cool people go. Petra! Oh no! <laughs> Shh! Like I said, not for you guys to worry about. Oh. Cute. <laughs> I'm done letting you make me feel bad. I prefer to feel good. And I'm gonna feel real good when I send you two to a place where you'll never see the light of day. Ever. Again. Ah! Well, that's trippy. Wow, and just like that, it's over. Who did you ask to guard the clock? Looks like me and 73% of players made Radar the Clockmaster. When Petra told you she was looking for the meaning, what advice did you give her? Looks like me and 30% of players told that it's up to her. Looks like me and almost 82% of players went with Radar and Lucas. Uh, looks like about half the community uh, who was doing to become the admin's new champion after you sent them to smash the clock. Looks like me and 54% of players chose Petra. What did you do? Looks like me and a little over half uh, decided to free Stella. And that's that. You must be a special class of trouble to end up here. The admin. Well... This is where he sends the people who he has special plans for. You may have noticed, it's not a very nice place. And the people? Well, they're not very nice either. <laughs> oh boy. At any rate, guys, another episode of Minecraft Story Mode. This was Season 2, Episode 2, Giant Consequences. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching.